Welcome to Electron Line. Now that we've learned what prime numbers are and how to discover them or how to determine if a number is a prime number or not, if it's not, it's a composite number, let's go ahead and try what we've learned on, the, on this set of numbers. So looking at our first number, 62, since it's even, we know it's not a prime number. So it's an even number, it's divisible by 2, therefore, oh, I've forgotten the n here, even, then you know it's not a prime number. How about the next one, 75? Well, notice it ends in a 5, which means we'd, we can divide it by 5, therefore, no, it's not a prime number. What about 63? Well, notice it is odd, but if I take the two digits, 6 and 3, and add them together, I get 9, and since 9 is divisible by 3, then, of course, it's not a prime number. So here we can say that it's divisible by 3, and therefore, no, it's not a prime number. 51, we can do the same thing. We can add the two digits together. 5 plus 1 equals 6. Since 6 is divisible by 3, again, we can say not a prime number. So you can see that very quickly. On most numbers like that, you can determine if it's a prime number or not. What about the number 59? So first of all, we know that it's odd, so that makes it a candidate. How about if we add the two digits together, see what we get. 5 plus 9, which is 14. We can then take 1 plus 4, which is 5. And since 5 is not divisible by 5, I, I mean 5 is not divisible by 3, well, that still makes it a candidate. Now we've already tried divided by 2, divided by 3. Doesn't work. How about divided by 5? Doesn't work because it doesn't end in a 0 or a 5, so no 0 or 5 at the end. So it's still a possible candidate. So the next thing we can do is go down the list of prime numbers, smaller prime numbers, to see if they divide into 59. For example, the number 7. Does 7 go into 59 evenly? Well, we know that 8 times 7 is 56, 9 times 7 is 63, so the answer is no. Next prime number would be 11. So we know that 11 does not go into 59 because we need a number like 33, 44, 55, or 66. So again, 11 is not divisible, or we cannot divide 11 into 59. The next prime number would be 13. But notice, we would then have to multiply 13 times some small number to make it fit into 59, like 4 or 5. Well, 4 times 13 is 52, 5 times 15 is 65, so that doesn't work either. So you can see that very quickly, the possibilities are diminishing. How about the number 17? Well, we know that 3 times 17 is 51. 4 times 17 would be much bigger than that, so the answer is no. And so it's beginning to look like there's no possibility here. 19 times 3 is 57, so that doesn't work. And you can see that very quickly, we're running out of numbers, so I would say this is a prime number. And that's kind of the methodology that to use. Uh, why did I go beyond 19? Well, at this point, I know that 3 times 19 is 57, so the only other possibility would be to come up with a number that would be about half of this, and since 59 is a not number, you can't. So you're done. You checked all these smaller prime numbers. You checked 2, 3, and 5, and 10. None of those matched, didn't give us, a, uh, didn't give us the uh, elimination of it being a prime number. So by conclusion, 59 is therefore a prime number, and that is how it's done.